Prosecutors are expected to wrap up their case against Christian Nunez today. It's a 38 year old Wisconsin man accused in the double homicide of his former girlfriend, Courtney Bradford, and her daughter, Jasmine. In court yesterday, jurors heard the phone call Nunez made to his ex wife the morning he was jailed. Bill Hudson reports. When Christian Nunez checked into an El Paso hotel September 2nd, he first called his cousin in Denver. Maria Nunez took the stand telling jurors he was asking to use her credit card. Was his and his and his girlfriends, um, they want to take his name, that she had to be present. That's because Courtney Bradford's stolen card wasn't working. That same evening, 18 hours after the killings, Nunez was on his laptop. I observed that there is several searches conducted for enrichment news. Investigators examined the defendant's electronics. One read from a string of foul messages. Next text message. Is okay if you don't want to see me. Oh, I ruin you plans is fine. Next text message. No big deal. Jurors won't see a murder weapon. It was never found. Though in this hotel room, police did find a receipt for one similar to this along with an empty box. That box, that orange colored box, what is it a box to? It is the box for a Bear Grylls brand Gerber knife. But it was a phone call to his ex-wife that hit the hardest, telling her he was in an El Paso jail. I'm in jail because I went to his car with his permission. Nunez stepped down without giving the defendant a simple glance. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. Jurors also learned that Nunez visited a money exchange website on his phone when he got to El Paso to convert dollars into 500 pesos. We expect the defense to start presenting its case today, and WCCO will be in court.